Hey guys and welcome to my video and today I wanted to show you the Holo Taco Pastel Rainbow Collection and I'm very lucky I do have the whole collection box here. The collection box is no longer available but you can buy most of the polishes individually. Um, but I just thought I'd show you the box anyway because it's quite interesting. I actually got this second hand from someone so I was really pleased to find it. So when you open up the box, it says thirsty for hollow and it has like a wave effect going around. So you get lots of hollow sparkles there. So it's a really cool box. And then inside you have all seven polishes. I have taken them out of the little cardboard boxes just so that you can see them clearly. But what I'll do is I'll show you each polish. I'll let you know what I think about them. And I've also painted all of these colors on my hand as a skittle. And then this is what the box looks like on the back. So you've got all the shade names on the back there and it's got that really pretty, it's like a sort of like a tie dye effect, isn't it? So yeah, I really like this box. So firstly, I thought I'd show you both hands. I am filming in my bathroom just because the lighting is a bit better in here. So I've got five different colors on this hand and then I've got mint mojito on my thumb, which is the green of the collection. And then I've got a slightly different skittle on this hand. I just wanted to make sure that I included all the colours in this video. And then I've got lavender syrup on my thumb there. So I'll show you each polish and then which one corresponds to which finger or thumb. So the first polish we have is called Pink Fizz. And for those of you that don't know, Holo Taco is a polish brand that is 10 free, so that means it's free of 10 of the potential harmful ingredients that you can find in nail polish. They're vegan and cruelty free, which is really important to me. I won't wear a nail polish unless it is vegan and cruelty free. And these polishes are linear holographic, so that means that you'll get like a rainbow line going across your nail when the sun or certain lighting hits it. So I don't know if you can see it in the bottle there, but I'll also try and show you on my nails. So this one is called Pink Fizz, and this is the pink of the collection. But to me, I find it's more of like a pinky purple sort of color. So it's not full on pink to me anyway. And this is Pink Fizz on my main finger here. And even my boyfriend said, oh, I quite like that purpley colour. So he's given me his opinion. So even he thought this was the purple of the collection. So it's definitely more of a pinky purple. And then I'm also wearing it here on my ring finger. So, um, and I've also compared it to the purple of the collection. So lavender syrup is the purple and that is above it. So you can see how they look. So you've got the blue, purple, pink. So I thought I'd do like a, a proper skittle where the colors sort of blend into each other. So you can see them better as a comparison. And what I will try and do is see if I can show you these off in sunshine because that is where you see the proper, the flame or the rainbow colours coming through. And in normal lighting, these will look quite normal. So don't expect these to be showstoppers in regular lighting. So the reason I wanted to show in the bathroom is because I do have LED lighting in here and then sometimes you can see a change in colour. Sometimes, but these are definitely more obvious in sunshine. And Pink Fist is one of my favourites from this collection. It is a really beautiful colour in sunshine and I am a sucker for pinks and purples anyway, so I would recommend this one. The other thing I will say is that I used two coats for the darker colours. Um, and then three coats for the lighter one. So I used three coats for the yellow and the orange and the coral I used, or the red I used three, but the other colors I only used two. So the next color in the collection is called Coral Chaser. So this one is the red out of the collection, but it definitely has more of like a coral color to it. So it's a ready corally color. So this is the colour that I have on my middle finger here. And I have to say, I think out of all these polishes, the Coral Chaser is the one that has, for me, that I've noticed, the most holographic colour. It really does look like a flame in the sunshine, so I'm loving that. And then as a comparison, we do have Coral Chaser here on my little finger and then next to it we have Pink Fizz, just so you can see how they differ. 
And then also you can see how Coral Chaser compares to the orange in the collection as well. It's so difficult to get the hollow colours to show up, but yeah, I would say this one for me is the one that has the most holographic changes. So the next one in the collection is called Peach Tea, so as you can tell these are all named after drinks. And I think the shade name for this is absolutely perfect. I've actually got some peach tea in the fridge and it is the colour of this. And then this is peach tea on my ring finger and you can see how it compares to the other colours in the collection. You know what, I think I will probably wear these colours most as a skittle. I just think they look really good together. So I have worn a couple of the colours on their own, especially Pink Fizz and lavender syrup, but I really like these as a skittle. So the next colour in the collection is the yellow and this is called Lemon Spritzer. Now sadly this one has been discontinued, it was a common low seller, so for a, a few years I think this came in the bottom 10 sellers. Yellows in general are not very popular. I must admit that I probably wouldn't wear this colour on its own, but I love it in the skittle. So I do think yellow and orange look amazing on darker skin tones. I'm not always a fan myself because once again my skin tone can clash. And also I don't, I don't think my skin tone suits mauve colours either. So yeah, we're all different, aren't we? But yeah, so lemon spritzer isn't available anymore. So I think Christine from Holo Taco Ziona, she made a really difficult decision to discontinue it because she really didn't want to lose one of the colours from the pastel rainbow collection. And then the next colour in this collection is Mint Mojito and this is the green which I'm wearing on my thumb. And this is another colour that I really like and I never used to like green nail polish but I've definitely been converted. And this one definitely has a really good holographic rainbow in the sun as well. So I, once again I don't know if I'll catch it in the bottle but I'll try and get some sun on my nails if possible to show you. So I'm in my bathroom under LED lighting by an open window so there's normal daylight coming in but yeah this is a lovely colour as well it really reminds me of spring and summer. The next colour we have is called sparkling water and this is the blue of the collection. Now this is the colour I was missing I didn't have sparkling water so I picked it up in my recent Holo Taco sale haul and yeah, it's a really pretty blue actually. Um, I really like it. So this is the blue on my finger there and there it is next to the purple, just so you can see the difference. So this is lavender syrup and then this is sparkling water. But yeah, the blue's actually really pretty and I did get that opaque in two coats. And then the last polish in this collection is lavender syrup, which is the purple. Now I would say this purple has a hint of blue in it, so it's more of a, a blurple, some people say. But yeah, I do like this, I do like blues and purples. So this is, a, once again, it's another beautiful colour and I will show it to you on my fingers and my thumb. So once again, here it is up against the pink and the blue in the collection. So it is a lovely purple, I love purples anyway. And then here it is on my thumb on my other hand. So yeah, I actually love all of these colours. So the Linny Hollow polishes from Hollow Taco are really, really good. They're really good quality. Um, Hollow Taco polishes in general last a long time on my hands as well. So yeah, they're just great. I love all the pastel colours. I also have the other rainbow colours as well. So those videos will be following up. So out of interest I was asking my boyfriend which colours he liked and he liked particularly these ones, he wasn't, he said his least favourite was the yellow so he said he wasn't fussed about that, he said it looks quite green which I suppose it does change for a bit of a green. Um, he was okay with the orange in the collection but he definitely preferred the darker colours and he also quite liked the green as well and he normally hates greens. So this was his favourite hand, so this was his favourite skittle out of my two hands, so he liked all of these. 
So I would highly recommend these polishes. Obviously the only one you can't get is the yellow, um, but yeah, that has proved to be the least favorite anyway for most people. But the other colors, yes, I really like them. I would recommend them. So let me know if you've got any of this collection and what you think about them as well. And let me know if you've got any of the other rainbow polishes from Holo Taco. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you do like polish content, don't forget to check out my playlist. I do have some other polish videos on my channel, as well as Lush products, body shop, candles, all those sort of things. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will catch you on another video.